Welcome back to another video on Hyper FB Traffic. I'm going to be talking a little about the Facebook ad system and how you can increase your ad CTR. And what ad CTR is, is your ad click through ratio. So the percentage of how many uh, clicks you are getting versus how many impressions. Um, so there's a few reasons why uh, CTR is uh, really important and number one it uh, determines really uh, how much you're going to end up paying um, so the higher your CTR is the less your cost per click will be and generally with a higher CTR ad you also get a lot more impressions than with uh, ads that are getting a lower CTR rate so I set it out out already for you here uh, with US adult demographics so that's anywhere from about 20 and 20 and up uh, this is basically what it ends up being if your CTR your click through ratio is less than 0.1 percent uh, that's uh, one click for every 1,000 impressions um, your bid price will have to be about $0.5, so 50 cents or higher to actually keep getting impressions and keep getting clicks. If your CTR is greater than 1, but greater than 0.1%, but less than 0.2%, you'll usually end up paying about um, 20 to 30 cents per click, sometimes a little lower, down to 18, 17 cents. If your CTR is higher than that, at 0.2% or higher, uh, you'll usually end up paying around 10 cents. Uh, and then if it's above 0.5 percent, you'll only end up paying about uh, five to three cents. If it's higher than 0 0.8, 0 0.9, or all the way up to one percent, um, you'll only end up spending about a cent per click. So that's why it's really important. Um, it's pretty easy to get a CTR of 0.1 percent or higher if you know what you're doing. Um, you'll ha you'll when you're making a big group of ads, you'll have a good mixture of uh, different CTRs. Um, so the ones that are above 0.1% are the ones you'll want to keep. Usually, they'll be the, the cheapest for the cheapest for you. So I want to talk a little about how you can increase your ad CTR so you're not um, you're not just making a bunch of ads that uh, have a low CTR and that you're ending up spending way too much. So anyways, the first way to do it is normally through your targeting. Uh, step one step one to increasing ad CTR is the way you're targeting, really. Um, so if you've got a campaign that's doing decently already, but you, you, you want to make a little more money off of it, you know, you're making 20, 30% return on your investment, and you want to make 50 and up, 50, 60% return on your investment, um, you're really going to have to start looking at the way you're examining the way you are targeting Excuse me. So re-examine the way you're targeting. Um, is it correct? Should are you targeting males when you should be targeting women? Um, have you tested that yet? That's something you can do. Um, also, target by individual ages. Normally, when I'm building a campaign, I'll start out by targeting groups of ages by about five years. So I'll start out with 18 to 25, and then 26 to 30, 31 to 35, and so on and so forth. Um, so if I find one group of uh, people does re does really well for me, um, so say I'm seeing the people that are 26 to 30 convert really well and I'm making a 50% return on my investment, that's pretty good. And I could keep running it that way, however, I might want to take it even deeper by breaking that age group up. So I'd want to target 25 year olds in one ad, 26 year olds in another ad and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, you might find out that 25-year-olds well, don't convert really well, but 26 and 27-year-olds are converting the best for me. 28 is making me 50, 60 percent, and 29 is making me 30 or 40 percent, whereas I'm losing money if, I'm, uh, if I keep bidding on the 25-year-olds. Um, so, you can, you can really uh, nail it down and see who's converting for you and who isn't. Another thing to do is try targeting the opposite sex. Obviously, this might mean you need to um, 
redo some things in your ads, um, like your ad image. Say, for example, dating ads. At the beginning, um, everyone was targeting males with uh, pictures of really sexy uh, women. Uh, but now, uh, what everyone should have been doing back then was uh, actually targeting women because, um, as we're seeing now, uh, women are bringing a lot better uh, return on our investment than uh, targeting males. So we're seeing that right now, you know. So try targeting the opposite sex. Another thing you can do is geo-targeting. Um, say you're targeting at every state in the U.S. You're just, you're just targeting the U.S. You can break that further down further by targeting states, um, even cities. For example, you know, if you, if you want to go through all 50 states, you certainly can uh, find out which state converts the best. Even with dating, um, this works with dating, <clears throat> with dating really well. Um, you know, if you're targeting winter, if you, excuse me, if you are making an ad for winter clothing or get a free snowboard kind of offer get free ski passes, you know, you, you'd want to target people in the north. It's obviously not snowing a whole lot in Texas and Florida and whatnot, so uh, those are just some things you want to think about, uh, geo-targeting. Another thing to look at is likes and interests. Um, this is a really important thing that you should always uh, try to incorporate somewhere in your ads, um, is finding likes likes and interests. Um, so say for example you're doing a get a free iPod kind of offer. Um, you can target people that like music. You can target people that like certain bands and say uh, you can put like in the screen of the image you can put that band or something in the middle there. Uh, so that's one way to get a really high CTR is include likes and interests and then the last thing about your targeting is always bid CPC. You can try CPM, but uh, nine times out of ten for me, CPC gets me cheaper clicks. It, I get a higher CTR. I get more impressions done in the long run. So I always bid CPC. Next thing I want to be talking about is ad images. So uh, I just want to go through a few examples here of what would work better than the next one. So you can see here I've got a GPS screen up here and that's a fine image but you see there's a lot of white space around the edge so there's a lot of stuff I could have put, there's a lot of room I could have used to actually include an image there. Whereas over here you can see I put in the GPS into the car um, so I'm using a lot more area, it's filling all 110 by 80 pixels and that ad's going to get a higher CTR just because the image stands out a little more because it's using all the space. Another thing here, um, this is for my bowling campaign. You've seen another video. This image actually isn't that bad, the first image here. Um, however, you can see I use a brighter background here. It's blue. It's got a, a orange and yellow swirly ball here, so um, that did a lot better than this one. And then over here, here's one of the better ads for it. You can see I used a, uh, actually a cartoon, a 3D graphic picture from a game or a cartoon here. So this one ended up doing the best just because it's so bright, you know, there's a lot of contrast to it with the blacks and, and the bright green and yellow. Um, so this one ended up doing really well for me. Another thing you want to look into is say you're doing a car insurance ad like this. It's a boring picture. You need to make your pictures exciting. So you can see I've got a car on fire here. It's not the most pleasant picture, but it's certainly shocking. You can also combine this with ad with your ad headline and text saying something. Don't let don't let um, don't let a car fire scare you. You know you can get your car replaced with uh, car insurance. You know something like that. Um, so use bright and exciting images. Uh, another thing here is promoting a pseudo pseudo coup offer. Um, you know, just a boring little pseudo pseudo who board here, and I ended up adding a, a border here, a bright red border. 
this would be a much better performing ad just because it sticks out a little more than than just a bland little picture here like this. And another thing you need to look at is is your image correct for your targeting. So you can see here I've got a really attractive, well endowed woman in this picture. This would be the kind of image that I would use to target 18 to 25 year olds. You know, the kind of guys that, that are in college or just getting out of college, they're still partying, they still just want to meet girls, they aren't really interested in, in a real relationship, so, you know, this would work really well for that. However, if I was targeting, say, 35 and up, 30 and up, you know, these guys are single, they probably want to get married and want to have a family, um, so this kind of girl wouldn't really be the best for them. They want a family woman, so I'm someone who's a little more mature, which is why I might just use a nice picture like this, an uh, attractive older woman, just her face, so someone they can relate to and uh, isn't way too far out of their league. So again, make sure you're filling in all 110 by 80 pixels. Use br brighter images, as you can see here, these did really well. Boring images like this aren't going to get attention, so you know, make them exciting. You can try adding a border. So the best colors that I've found for me are green, blue, orange, and red. So uh, you can try that out. And make sure the images you're targeting are right, for, or excuse me, make sure your images are right for your targeting. So if you're targeting someone young, you know, make sure your image is attractive for younger, younger guys. Some other things you can do are you can uh, skew and stretch images. So if you want to, you can try something like this. Seeing how that does. Um, you can also add text text to the image. So say it's a website um, they can sign up to. You can say sign up free, join free. You can add that. Add symbol, symbols to the image. So say it's a Christian dating site that you're promoting. You can add the symbol of the cross to each image. You can also try rotating the images sideways or upside down as well. So you can try something like that if you wanted to. And also, uh, if you're using Adobe Photoshop, you can try using image filters like negative filters, all the different kind of brush filters, the artistic filters they have. So those are some, all some things you can try out to get a higher CTR with your ad images. And the last thing I want to cover here are just ad headlines and text. Um, I normally form all my ad headlines with a question. The question mark just kind of asks the user, um, it gets their attention in. Um, say I'm targeting someone's likes, um, I can say, or their interests, excuse me. Um, so I can make a question like, do you like, and then whatever that image is with a question mark. And that should get their attention. Of course, they're thinking in their head when they see that, yes, I like it. So then they're going to read the rest of the ad, they're going to look at the picture, and then hopefully they click. Another thing I like to do is add in numbers and facts, even if sometimes I just make them up. Um, but um, just seeing the numbers in there can help drag in some attention. You can maybe make up some outrageous numbers, um, you know, and just try and get the user's attention to your ad with uh, something funny like that. Another thing I like to do is uh, require interaction from the user. So say it's a gaming offer I'm promoting. Um, some interaction I can build up is uh, play your friends, play against your friends, see who can get the high score, something like that. So, um, you know, it's building a relationship between the ad and the user that they can play this game and they can beat their friends, see who can get the higher, high score, something like that. Another thing you can do is play off the user's emotions. So uh, within the ad you can say, are you lonely? If it's a dating ad, are you lonely? Are you tired of being single? If it's a weight loss ad, um, you could play off their self-esteem. Um, you know, if, if you start losing weight, you could get some better self-esteem, more self-confidence. People will like you. Um, so uh, those are some emotions you can play off. Think about the emotions and the emotional attachments each user, each user will have to uh, that ad and the offer you're promoting. And also, always remember 
your call to action. So at the end of all your ad text, make sure you have a call to action. Click here. You can join free, play free. It's free to try. Only cost $19. Buy now. So remember that. So these are just some tips and tricks you can use to increase your ad CTR. Again, remember ad CTR is directly related to your cost per click. Or excuse me, that should be the other way around. Your cost per click is directly related to how high your CTR is. So the higher your CTR is, the less your CPC is. And generally that means uh, you'll make more money or you'll make a bigger return on your investment.